What is good, everyone? My name is Orlando. Welcome to week six of Friday Night Football. The push for the playoffs is on. We start in the Metro League, two teams in the hunt for a league title. Mountainside visiting Sunset. We've got defense, yes we do. We've got defense, how about you? Both squads in shutdown mode early. Blake early blowing up the play. Then Sam Villadal puts the pressure and gets to the quarterback. Scoring comes in quarter number two. Justin Craigwell makes one of his frequent appearances on Friday Night Football. Then Jordan Hicks showing off the moves. 20 yard house call. Later, Alex Ingles to Andrew Remtel. Mountainside wants a league title badly, and they took a big step forward with a 21-16 win. Metro League scores, please. Jesuit takes care of Westview 38-7. Beaverton gets its second win of the year, 37-0 over Aloha. Up in Vancouver, a pair of teams coming off big wins in week five. Prairie visiting Mountain View. It's a pink out at McKenzie. The mighty Thunder had it going on. Cash Cook, show me the money. Are you kidding me? A Nicholson, say what? Two defenders in the blender. He gone. 86 yards on the play. There's no way you can top that, right? Porter Drake. If you're seeing this, it's too late. On his worst behavior, no one can bring him down and nothing was the same. When the dust settled, it's a 40 yard touchdown. Mountain View rolls 48-0. The Heritage Timberwolves mascot ready to go. The Kelso Highlanders though, tamed the T-Wolves. Lawrence Bostic following the block party, 22 yards untouched. Kelso up 31-0 in the second quarter. The Highlanders weren't done. It's that man. Bostic at it again. Slashes his way for the score. Kelso gets the shutout. More scores from Washington. Eighth-ranked Camus gets a 49-21 win over Evergreen. Tenth-ranked Battleground is 6-0 for the first time since 1991. The Tigers shut out Lakes 23-0. In the PIL, only one game separates first from fifth. Roosevelt, four and one. Lincoln, right behind them. The visiting Rough Riders, looking to get on the board, and we've got trickery. Running back, Ronald Woods, showing off the arm, and Jasmine Davis wide open. 75 yard house call. Roosevelt, up seven nothing. Later, Roosevelt O-line doing the work. No one touches Dontrell Betts as he cruises in for the score. And how about one more big play? Kalen Riley connects with Eve Gelly. House call. Rough Riders move to five and one with a 41-10 win on the road. To Southeast Portland we go. Grant hosting Franklin at the Marshall campus. Visitors jump out early. Ethan Amon from two yards out. Lightning on top 16, nada. Generals respond. Braden Baker, the touchdown maker, Aaron it out. Aiden Wood right under it. That's good for six. Folks, this game came down to the final plays, but Grant ekes out a 30-29 win. Mount Hood Conference play. The Barlow Bruins heading south to Happy Valley to face the Nelson Hawks. The Hawks' nest is no fun for visiting teams. Third quarter, Eli Stevenson turns the corner into the crib. It's 21-0 just like that. Later, Nelson turns to Eddie Kiomani, muscles his way into the house. Barlow would get some offense going. Carter Wilcox to Centauri Martino. 60 yards to the house. But it's too little too late. Nelson gets a 28-6 win over Barlow. Mount Hood scores, please. Sandy gets a 27-0 shutout over Clackamas. The Reynolds Raiders get their second win, 52-10 over David Douglas. More Friday Night Football. Class 4A taking center stage with a top 10 matchup. Number seven, Seaside, visiting second-ranked Scapoose, 
this is your game of the week. Let's go. We rolled to McNabb Field homecoming night at Scapoose, and it was an event. Cheer, dance, the community showed out. Not an empty seat in the house. Seagulls trying to spoil the party. Gavin Pugh, Kane Israel setting the tone, but Scapoose answers. Check this out, right side of your screen, Eli Hera rips the ball free and he's gone. That got the offense going. And once they go hurry up mode and get downhill, it's over. 21, can you do something for me? Quentin Olsen, do your thing, 21. The x-rays confirm what we suspected. There are dogs on the roster. Here's one of them, Caden Baker, AKA Playmaker. That man had a TD interception and sack. Third quarter, Max Nowlin dials up the big play. Eli Hara, turn out the lights. This one's over. Scapoose wins big, 41, nothing. They're now 6-0 on the season. Glencoe visiting Century in Hillsboro. The paper banner losing yet again. Hometown Jaguars get on the board. Johnny Ellis, the nice play fake and takes it himself. It's 7 nothing Century. Glencoe responds. Colby Stampley, get off me. Sheds the tackles off to the races. 44 yard house call. That cuts the lead to just one. Later, there's that man, Colby Stamfley. Needs a few less steps on this one. Crimson Tide get a 19 15 win on the road. A marquee matchup on Thursday night with Tualatin and West Lynn, the top spot in the Three Rivers League on the line. And we've got a party in the Lions Den. TRL on KGW. Timberwolves versus Lions. Both teams undefeated. Something's got to give. Lions opening drive. Nothing but green. Gabe Howard setting the tone. Seven nothing in a hurry. The Lions defense wreaking havoc. Scary season activated. Baron Naomi keeping the jersey clean. Ryan Vandenbrink. Nope. Nowhere for the Timberwolves to go. And you know the Lions feasted. Baird Gilroy to Gus Donnerberg. 22 yards, and the kings of the TRL strike again. West Lynn moves to a perfect 6-0, 37-0 the final. Let's keep it moving across the river. We're going 0-100 to real quick. Next stop is Pioneer Stadium. Now, this is main character energy. Undefeated Oregon City playing host of Lake Oswego. Thomas Borden is a man on a mission. The senior gives the Pioneers a 12-6 lead. Here comes the Lakers. Fourth and goal, not a problem for Xavier Russell. Leaps into the pool. Lake Oswego on top, 13-12. Fourth quarter we go. Lake O super sophomore, LaMarcus Bell calls game. Can't stop, won't stop, Lake Oswego. Hands Oregon City its first loss of the season in a battle. Final count, 20-12. Lakers now 5-1. It was an entire mood at Lakeridge. The Pacers hosting Tiger, both teams sporting just one loss. Noah Tischendorf, Charlie McPhee supplying that pressure. That's a sack. The dynamic duo of Gabe Machenbacher and Joey Olsen doing it again. Lakeridge cruises to a 30-9 victory. The Pacers now 5-1 on the season.